So today, we're going to be attempting yet again another uh, Majestic Challenge deck that you guys recommended me. You guys recommended me the, the Warrior, Genie, Assassin, and the Huntress. This is pretty much an attack deck, but let's see if we can make this deck work. My name is Toon Mike, and I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. <music> and let's see how far can we go the person recommending me this actually got to 12 wins with only one loss so let's see if we can replicate that or just embarrass ourselves you never know what can happen right his my spend that goes first not good but if the assassin stays stays put we can definitely deal some damage to his troops uh we still can we can definitely be uh we can definitely deal damage to his blaze right now hopefully a double hit too if we can pull this off perfectly Yep, double hit, and his blaze is still alive. Golly, his blaze is still alive. Nice. That's going to be a lot of damage to my warrior there. Oh my gosh, my assassin is barely hanging on, guys. Let's see if we can actually deal damage to somebody with the assassin here. The blaze did not get hit with the snowball. I'm actually surprised. And the snowball is blocking his wizard. Ah, that's very good. Oh, but he still took out my, my my assassin. Not good, but but still doing pretty good. Let's double hit the mice spender here. Hopefully, also hitting the warrior. There you go. The warrior, the warrior is almost dead. The blaze is almost dead. He is definitely gonna deal a lot of damage though. I'll only burning the huntress. All right, that's fine with me. Only burnt the huntress. Let's definitely now take out both of these guys. And hopefully double hit the Mice Bandit, push it towards the Huntress. Nope, we just hit the Snowball towards the Mice Bandit, which is okay. Hopefully the Snowball blocks the Mice Bandit right now. It did not, but he can only hit the Huntress. He can try to hit the Genie. He is good. Whoa, okay, so he's going to push the Wizard towards that. Very, very good play right there. Let's hit, double hit the Wizard. Hopefully the Snowball hits the Mice Bandit. We were actually able to pull that off. The warrior is deadly now. Both of these troops are one hit away from death with the warrior, I believe. Nice, nice play. That was a very nice play. I gotta give you that, man. So let's actually hit the wiz the wizard and the mice spender right here. The genie should survive, right? The genie will survive. The huntress will survive. All right, so he would need two hits on both of them. In order to win and then one hit on the on the warrior. My troops are gonna survive with very low health. Th look at that. Look at that man. But look at this! I don't have a direct hit. Oh my gosh, dude. I'm just gonna nope. I'm gonna do this and hopefully the hunters actually goes down and hits the wizard. Oh my friggin' god. I cannot believe I messed that up. But but Oh, no, 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 no. <sighs> Bro, the snowballs are blocking me. The snowballs are blocking me, dude. Bro, no freaking way the snowballs are blocking me. Please hit the, please hit the wizard. Oh, my gosh. We actually won that. We actually won that. We didn't even deal damage with the genie. The freaking snowballs took out the wizard. Oh my gosh, my troops were literally surviving with 10 HP or less. That was insanely close. We were facing our warlord blaze, of course. But we should we should get we should we should be okay here. His goblin goes first. Did not get buffed up, so I'm okay with that. He is going to get the wall bounce and hit the genie. And the warrior. Nicely done. But we can definitely now push the, the goblin towards the assassin here. And also hitting his blaze. Okay. Okay, that was a lot of damage too. We also hit his warlord. The blaze gets the buff. He is behind the warlord. So it's going to be difficult for him to actually use him. Use her, sorry. Yep, that was a waste. That was a waste. Waste. It's going to be giving a life, lovely night face. Because why not? We're going to push the goblin towards the genie, and hopefully the huntress pushes the warrior towards the warlord. Yep, 
there you go. So we just took out the goblin. That's one less troop that we gotta worry about. However, the warlord's ability will be is gonna be more efficient, like that, because he will be. Um, odds are that he's definitely going to in, in, uh, buff up troops that actually goes next. So that was a lot of damage, nicely done. But we do have an advantage here because now we can double hit the archer and hopefully hit the blaze towards the huntress. We did not hit the huntress. Uh, we did not hit the blaze towards the huntress, but we did triple hit the archer. The huntress is still healthy. Definitely going to push it towards the blaze, though. My assassin is going to die because of the arrows he triple hit. He figured out a way to triple hit the assassin. Nicely done. Um, let's double hit the blaze, I guess, or we can hit both of these guys once. I guess we'll both we'll hit both of these guys once since the warrior is still alive. Look at that! We just took out the archer thanks to the warrior's ability. Thankfully, we actually pulled that off. I honestly don't know who I wanted to be, to get buffed. Blaze gets the buff, so he's definitely gonna use the blaze. Going after the warrior, interesting. I would have definitely went after the the both of my troops that was uh in the south, you know. Um. We'll hit both of these guys. I'm just gonna hope that my troops are separated. They are not. They are not separated, but they are you know, they are healthy. The genie will die in two hits, and the hunters will also die in two hits, right? No, the hunters will die in three hits. So it's something that he can't handle. And there you go, guys. We should win this one. It should be one hit away from death, if not two, and it'll be easy for us to get a double hit. Bada bing, bada boom! Another win. Let's go. Another good win in the books. We got two wins in a row. Starting off pretty strong, if you do ask me. Let's just continue on. And uh, yeah, let's see if we can make it work. Let's see if we can continue on and hopefully get 12 wins like my uh, the person recommended me this. We are facing a very good deck. Very good deck. Okay. Okie dokie. Let's see if we can double hit the shaman. There you go, we actually double hit the shaman and double hit the, the, the vampire, that was very nice. He is definitely going to heal up the vampire here and enchant his vampire, nicely done. Alright, okay, okie doke, okie dokie. We could push the frost fox to deal less damage, we could also just deal an immense amount of damage to the vampire. Uh, yeah, let's do that. There you go, also did damage to the blacksmith, can't complain about that. Um, he is definitely going to heal up the vampire for sure. At least three heals. He's going to get at least three. Yep, four heals. Lucky, lucky, lucky. Uh, we can try to poison, but I don't think we're going to be able to do that. Yeah, we couldn't do much. Now he's going to enchant, also buff up his shaman, probably. No, his focus is to try to heal up the, the vampire, which he actually missed, actually. Oh, snap. Yep, yuppers. Let's see if we can also push this, uh, the, the, the assassin upwards towards the blacksmith. There you go. Let's go. We actually pulled that off. He is definitely going to enchant the frost fox with a defensive buff just to keep him alive just a little bit longer. So obviously he's going to do that. I'm just hoping that he actually misses the attack. He actually hit the huntress, but he did not do well with my um, dealing extra damage. Um... We could try to do that, but he is healthy. So I'm just going to push the Shaman to deal less damage. Let's just do that. There you go. Wow, we actually just took out the Shaman. So, so my Assassin is not enchanted. However, he can still use the Pillars um, to enchant me. But then again, I can also enchant myself with positive enchantments, you know? Don't you dare take out... Alright, so my troops are still alive. Okay. We can definitely double hit here. And also... I think the blacksmith is going to die here. We just we actually hit the frost fox. That was lucky. So he can actually heal by hitting the genie and the warrior. But if the warrior survives this, we can definitely pull out a win here. Now he's going to take out the warrior for sure. And he also got an attack buff. But that means he doesn't have a defensive buff. He doesn't have a defensive buff. So how much health does he have? Two hits from the assassin and he'll die. I think the genie can also take him out. Yep, there you go, guys. Another good win against a very good meta deck. This deck is still meta. 
and we actually pulled off an insane win against one of the one of the best decks in the game. And there you go, guys. We got three wins in a row. We are doing awesome. Hopefully, we can keep this all the way to 12 wins. We'll see, though. Facing a zombie Rocketeer deck, you honestly don't see this combination anywhere. So I'm happy to see that there's a little bit of um, a little bit of variety. Instead of buffing up, he is going to poison my troops. Three troops. Nicely done, man. Nicely, nice done with the poison right there. Let's see if we can focus and hit the under um, Rocketeer to take him out. Because if the Rocketeer dies, um, then he doesn't have a good attack power troop, you know? So, I don't know what he wants to do. He's he's probably just going to buff. Yeah, but he's going to buff. Alright, so that's fine. My, my Huntress goes next, and we do have an attack buff right here. Sadly, I cannot double hit the, with the Huntress here, so we're gonna see if we can hit it towards the Warrior. Hopefully we can. And hit the Zombie too. Okay. I'm just hoping that we can take out his Rocketeer before he launches an attack. Although, he only has two Rockets, so I'm not too worried about it. However, my troops are together. So we should probably separate them, unless he separates it for me. Yeah, he did. Alright, and sadly, I cannot use... I cannot do much here, sadly. So instead of going after the Rocketeer, we are going to double hit the, the Paladin and also hit the um, the Zombie. And look at that, we just took out his Paladin, let's go! We just took out this Paladin and his Zombie just almost died there. So his Rocketeer goes next, he may actually be able to hit both the Genie and the Rocketeer. I mean, Genie and the Warrior. Yep, he was actually able to do that, but... Now we should be able to take out this rocket here. Double hitting hopefully is enough. We needed a triple hit and we pulled it off. Alright, so if we take out either or, um, we should be good. Unfortunately, three of my troops are poisoned. So we are running out of time. But then again, the Huntress cannot be poisoned. Actually, she can be poisoned for one turn. But then after that, um, she'll just re-enchant herself. Uh, okay. Honestly, just take out, um, take out the zombie, I guess. Hopefully, this will be enough to take him out. It is not enough, not enough. But he is one head away from death. The genie, the genie will die next turn, no matter what happens. All right. So sadly, we are going to lose the genie. Uh, let's see if we can just, just deal a lot of damage to his priest because his priest is doing pretty awesome. Uh huh. The assassin, the assassin will stay alive for one more turn. Sadly, I don't have a good attack towards the priest. I honestly don't. I don't have a good a, a good move here. We're going to see if we can push the snowball and make the make the hunters hit the um. Actually, wow, that actually worked out because the assassin actually hit the zombie just to take him out. So no more heals. So it's just up to pretty much the huntress. The warrior can survive this though. And if the Assassin doesn't get hit here, we can try to use the Assassin to take out the Priest. Or at least deal an immense amount of damage just to get closer to the win. Don't tell me that he surrendered, dude. He actually could have a chance. Wow, okay. So thank you for giving me a free, a free, a free turn, man. We'll just do this. Three hits, let's go. Um... Yeah, thank you for giving me the free win, dude. The assassin will die, but <clears throat> if the snowball doesn't appear next to the priest, we should be able to get a double hit easily unless the... Oh, never mind. He's in play. He is here, ladies and gentlemen. He is back from whatever it is he was doing. He is back. Do we have an attack buff? Yes, we do. So a double hit should be enough. Please don't, ma please don't make me miss this. We got it. And he surrendered. I don't know what he was doing, that he just wasted the turn, and that may or may not have cost him the game. And there you go, guys. Fourth win. We got four wins in a row. Pretty cool, Let's see if you ask me. Let's just hop in straight into another match here. Let's see what we're going to face. Let's see Pepsi from Pepsi Clan. Nice name. Oh, okay. This is gonna. This is a dangerous deck to face. Very dangerous. His mice spender got the buff. Thankfully, he he cannot be. He is probably going to use the mice spender. I'm just hoping that he misses. No, he double hits the genie. Golly, dude. The genie just almost died in one turn. 
we could try to double hit his um his mice bandit. Wow, we actually was able to do that, but now the assassin might die. The genie may also die if he pushes a mice bandit towards the genie. Nope, the assassin definitely died. Wow, the assassin is still alive. Okay, we can definitely pull off this play here. Hopefully the assassin actually bounces off and hits the blaze as well. Yep, there you go. We just took out the assassin right there and the blaze just took a serious amount of damage. Pretty good. The assassin is barely hanging on with 17 health. And he may just push the blaze towards somebody or just deal damage to... No, he's just focused on the blaze there. Okay, and my genie also died and he got the burn off. Okay, that's fine. We got a defensive buff going on. Let's see if we can uh, double hit and touch the dragon's hand. So that way we can hit the huntress as well. We were actually able to do that. Pulled off a burn. Can't complain about that play. Pretty good. Um, it doesn't matter who gets the buff here. The huntress will get a serious amount of damage. So this sucks. This sucks. We do have a defensive buff to tank a little bit, but the Huntress just took a serious amount of damage there, sadly. Sadly! Let's see if we can push the Huntress towards the Warlord and hopefully burn the Huntress. No, we do not. We do burn the Warlord, though. Yep, we do. Uh, we are not going to win this one. Mm -mm. We are definitely not going to win this one. Double hit. Yep. And he just killed me. Nice play, dude. Nice double play right there. Okay. Or not double play. A double kill right there. GG's, my dude. Pretty nice play right there. He did take me out pretty, pretty dominantly. But what can you do, right? I cannot win every single, uh, every single game, especially with a deck that I am not used to, you know? I'm used to my main deck, which is the Shaman Naga, um, Frostbox, and the Paladin. We are 3,900 trophies there, too, so that's pretty sick. My Assassin, look at that, pretty good position. We can definitely use him to hit the Warlord and maybe even the Wraith? Mice Bandit or both? Triple hit the Wraith! Golly, I hope the Wraith gets the buff. No, he didn't. My Assassin may die because of it though. But that Wraith, man, the Wraith just took a serious amount of damage. And let's see if we can push the Bomber towards my Assassin. Oh my gosh, we just completely whiffed that. We just completely whiffed that. Okay, Wraith gets the buff. That's good because he cannot... He cannot be used. Unless he pushes a troop towards the Wraith. So, with my genie going next... He is definitely going to take out the Assassin. Which is fine. Which is fine. Um, uh, Let's see if we can... We can definitely deal lots of damage to... The Warlord and maybe even take out the... The Wraith. Yep, we'll definitely take out the Wraith as well. We should not miss though. We should not miss the Wraith. There you go. We also took out this Warlord. Let's friggin' go. Alright, so there's two troops down. Um, the troops that we... The, the the other troops that are alive, they they do... They have a lot of attack power. Lots of attack power. But look at this. I think we can take out this Mice Bandit now. Um, let's make sure to hit both of them. Instead of just taking out the Mice Bandit only. There you go, and is that death towards the Mice Bandit? No, it was not enough. Alright, I am grateful that the Huntress is still healthy, like, and healthy I mean like, he still has full health, you know? Um, Let's just worry about the Bomber, I guess. We do have an attack, pop, attack buff here. Let's just hit the Bomber right here. And the Genie is away from the Dynamite, that's great, so he only has one turn. And with the Huntress still fully healed, he will need at least like 5 hits to take out the Huntress. And he's going after the Genie. Towards the Dynamite too. Push it towards the Dynamite. Okay, he actually got a double hit off. Okay, nicely done. Actually, triple hit. Nice hits, man. But regardless, I think that is good game. If I, ju I just needed to hit him once right here. And that should be good game. Bada boom. Alright. So, yet again, we got another win, QB. Alright, so we got five wins. Um, I'm doing pretty good. I'm very confident with this deck. Very, very confident. Very good, too. Um, we have countered so many good decks. We just lost to a very good one, which is the Warlord Blaze with the Huntress combination, which is sounds pretty deadly. But, oh, this is another good deck that we gotta watch out. Thankfully, 
thankfully, the Wraith is in an awkward position. Let's see if we can push the Genie upwards to just deal damage. And... We don't. Sadly, we don't, but we did that just to activate the trap. So that's one trap down. Sadly, my Genie does go next, and he is being blocked unless he pushes the Treant out of the way. Which he did. Okay. Ah, oh, golly, I cannot hit the trap. I cannot hit the trap. We might be able to if we bounce off the, um, the tree and make the genie go for the trap. We were actually able to do that. Let's freaking go. That was an awesome play, man. Awesome play. How is the tree still alive? The tree is alive with 25 health. Golly. Golly. Okay. Ouchie. Let's actually... Mm, I don't know what to do. We'll just push the um the uh, the the assassin towards the tree and I guess and hit the enchantress. Okay, we actually hit everybody. We'll definitely take that damage. We literally hit everybody at least once. The enchantress got hit twice. All right, so the wraith goes next. Thankfully, he did not get the buff. All right, so he is probably going to take out the genie and the warrior here, or he's going to get the buff and hit the trap. Interesting play. Interesting that he's going after the trap. And of course enchanting the gene uh the wraith. Alright, nicely done. Um We will We'll do this. Hit the Wraith and the Warlord. Hopefully hits my um no, my assassin. We just took out the Warlord! Let's go! We just took out the Warlord. Honestly, just worry about the Wraith. The Wraith is dealing 101 damage and can go back and forth to a uh, three-each troop. So honestly, he is the, the main threat of this deck right now. Going after the the warrior, that's fine. Just took her out too, which I don't mind. I don't mind at all. Can we actually... Can we actually win by doing this now? Disactivate the trap. This might be a stupid play, but we're gonna go for it. He surrendered! He surrendered! Ah, oh, wow, the Enchantress did not get hit, but regardless, he surrendered. Let's go, guys. Another good win against a very good deck, man. Very, very good decks. Oh my gosh, we got 6 and six and 1. Hope Can we get actually 12 and 1 like my the person who recommended me this deck? Oh my gosh, imagine that. Frog Mystic in this deck, that's actually pretty interesting to see. Um, And thankfully, his Assassin does not... This is not, I mean, the assassin goes first. Let's actually double hit the frog mystic and uh, hit the assassin as well and burn everybody except the assassin because the assassin got pushed too far. And the frog mystic, we actually missed the frog mystic too. Sadly, my assassin goes next, so we cannot use this ability, but we can push troops towards the huntress and the huntress is buffed right now with attack buff, I mean. So let's definitely do this. We'll double hit the the assassin here. Wow, we actually got a hit. Oh my gosh, we also double hit the frog mystic. That's clean. Clean. Ooh, please, please, please don't do it. Don't do that to me. Do not you see the assassin? Oh no, dude. What? No freaking way he just did that, dude. Alright, that's fine. Let's actually try to use the source, uh, the the huntress to deal damage here. So we're gonna try to hit the treant and make the huntress just hit everybody. Let's freaking go! Let's go, dude! Ah, but look at the dynamite. The dynamite is in a is in a very very good place for him. He's just going to deal uh, just a little bit of damage, not push troops around. Yep. So that was a that was a clean play from him. Clean play. Um, we can actually now take out his tr uh, his frog mystic, so that way he stops healing up. Oh my gosh! So he stops healing up the tree, and, and we figure out, and we somehow push the tree towards my assassin. He's almost dead now. He literally only has one turn. That's it. Yep, we just won. We just won this match. Oh my gosh, ladies and gentlemen. Can we actually do this? Good game, my dude. Yep, good luck, man. Thanks for playing. Golly, I, I got lucky. I got lucky. I gotta say, I did get lucky with some plays, you know? Like, like double hitting the assassin and the frog mystic in one turn there for 109 damage each. Like, 
I got lucky, not gonna lie. We are doing pretty awesome. And now it seems like we're gonna take a, a bit to find an opponent here. Yes, yes. Yep. Oh, never mind. We actually found an opponent right here. All right. So. Ooh, okay. Interestingly, that he has the Wraith instead of the um, the yeah. Druid. The Druid would be a meta deck. Then again, he can use the Wraith to deal pretty awesome damage there. The Warrior just took a lot of damage. Not good. Alright, so let's see if we can... Well, we can hit both of these guys. I'm just gonna hope that the Sentinel also hits my, um, my Genie. Yep! We were actually able to pull that off right there. Good damage, good damage. Ooh, he is just going to just keep hitting the Sentinel, man. The Sentinel... My Assassin is dead. Nope, my Assassin is still alive. My Assassin is somehow still alive. Let's see if we can, uh... Um... Just make the Assassin hit the Farmer. While we hit, while we also hit the Golem. This might be a mistake. No, we actually missed the um the golem. Hit the sentinel though! Thank you for hitting the sentinel. Yeah, we missed the golem. I don't know why it does that, but we completely whiffed the golem. He can definitely... He might actually get a monster kill here easily. He can definitely get a monster kill here. If he goes back and forth... Yeah, through those three troops plus hitting the sentinel once or twice... No, okay, I'm actually happy about that. However, he just took out the ass the assassin thanks to the freaking steam. Uh, okay, so all we so let's can we double hit the wraith? That would be sick. Double hit the wraith while hitting the steam and push the sentinel towards the the huntress. We just took out the sentinel. Okay, pretty good. Unfortunately, all three of my troops are very weak, like low health, and his are not. Both of his troops are healthy, and the golem is actually max health right now. The huntress, it seems like, is going to die right now. If he hits her towards the steam. Right? He's not making a play. What you doing, dude? You're not making a play? No way, dude. No way you just gave me a free play. You just gave me a free turn, my dude. Let's see if we can get a double hit here, plus hit the Wraith. There we go. And now it's now it's death. Now it's death. If he's still in play, because he may not be in play. Dude, he could have won. What happened? He could have won the matchup. Dude, that is crazy. So all we need to do is just push the Huntress towards the Wraith and then hit the Golem right here. The Wraith should die now. Nah, I think the Wraith is still alive. Golly, if he doesn't make a play here, the game is going to force surrender him. The game is going to force surrender. Wow, uh, I don't know what happened to this guy, but this guy had a chance to win. And he just didn't play for three turns, causing him the match. Oh, we take free wins though, man. We take free wins. We'll take the win. I can't complain. I I like I like good rewards and lots of rewards too, man. So thank you for not playing. I guess we'll take the free win, man. And let's hop into another one. We got eight wins, guys. I'm actually surprised. We haven't gone this far in a long time, and this deck is ha is actually helping me to do so. We are in a we are in a place where we are gonna take a long time to find an opponent, so I may have to cut up the um and edit the video here. Yep. I'll be right back, guys. Oh that was that was actually pretty fast. We found an opponent here. And uh ooh, this is the deck that we lost. This is the only deck that we lost in this challenge as of right now. Alright, so his mice meta goes first. Thankfully he did not get the buff. The blaze did. He can still use the blaze for damage though. But he may just use the mice meta because the mice meta is just too good. Seems like he's going to double hit the assassin. He missed. Actually, he got the double hit right there. But look at this. We can definitely push the mice bandit towards the war, uh, towards the assassin, and maybe you can also hit the warlord as well. Look at that! Look at that! Lots of damage. Thank you, assassin. His blade's got the buff again, and it is her turn. So we may lose the assassin. Like we're, we're we might. Yep, yeah, yeah, we're gonna lose the assassin. Okay, 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 okay. 
Okay, hold your horses. Hold your horses. Okay. So, I don't think we're gonna be able to... We'll just take out the blaze, man. The blaze, the blaze is just nasty. We'll do that. Alright, so... It's gonna be difficult for him to use the Mice Bandit unless he pushes the Mice Bandit towards my Huntress. That's the only play that he can do. Yep, exactly that. The Mice Bandit got the buff. I don't know why I figured out that... Or I figured that he was the buff of the Mice Bandit. Oh, actually, I thought it was the Huntress's turn. Never mind. I thought it was the Huntress's turn. I thought the Huntress was going to be difficult for him. I thought the Huntress is go was going to have a hard time to hit the genie. It was actually the Warlord's turn. That was an oopsies from me. Um, let's see if we can hit the Huntress towards my Huntress. And hopefully we can also hit the Mice Bandit. Yep, there you go. We also... Okay, we are getting lucky here. We are getting lucky. As long as we can get those two troops at low health, the Warlord... I mean, the Warrior can seriously... Just win here. One, one B, one B, two. Ah, nice damage, dude. Nice damage. We're gonna hope that my troop stays alive here because look at that. The warlord is is definitely one hit away from death. How much health does the hunters have? The hunters can tank two hits, but not. I mean, the the hunters can only tank one hit from the war the warrior. Ooh, my gosh. Oh no, he actually. The only way I can win this, if it's if I can get a do this, and double hit the Huntress. That is the only way we can win this. So I honestly don't know what is a good angle to get a double hit on. But I'm just going to hope for the best. Ah, oh, we missed the double hit. We missed the double hit! And look at that, I literally just gave her a good line of sight just, to, just so that he can give me uh, get a double hit on me. Imagine getting a double hit right there. That was That was close. It was close, man. I don't know if I would have folk if I should have focused on just the Huntress to deal damage, but I wanted to take out the Warlord as quick as I can because I didn't want him to get the buffs, you know. But it could have been just a little bit of a mistake that I did that cost me the game. But that's fine. I'm happy with this run. We got eight wins. We got one more loss. Hopefully we don't get uh, we don't lose. But um, we'll see what deck. Literally, the only deck that we lost, the only deck that we lost was the deck <laughs> is Warlord Blaze, My Spend, and the Huntress. That is the only deck that we have lost in this challenge as of right now. We are facing yet again another Warlord Blaze, but with a different, different card. The Paladin and the Wraith. So let's see if we can hit the Warlord plus the Paladin here. There you go. And burn the Paladin. Nope, no burn. Hopefully the Wraith gets a buff. The Paladin gets a buff. So obviously he's going to go for damage, of course. He's going for damage. Hitting the Huntress, it seems like. Yep, and burning. Nicely done. Uh, we can definitely go for a lot of damage here onto the Paladin. So let's just do this. The Paladin is dead! And we also did a, an immense amount of damage to the Wraith and the Warlord. Nicely done. Hopefully the Wraith gets the buff. Yep, the Wraith did get the buff, so he will need to push troops towards the Wraith in order for him to deal damage with the Wraith. So, he is just going to hit the Genie, it seems like. Oh wow, the genie the genie actually went through the wraith. Lots of damage. Let's see if we can double hit the the warlord towards the, the um the warrior so that way hopefully we can get a kill off. But we actually pulled off that kill right there onto the warlord. So no more buffs for him. The assassin is still healthy. Then again, his blaze is healthy as well. And you know how dangerous the blaze is. He may just go uh he may just take out the huntress as well. No, the Huntress is still alive. The Huntress... Yep, the Huntress is still alive, thankfully. Uh, we cannot do much to the Wraith. Actually, it depends. I honestly don't know if I should t if I should take out the Wraith or focus on to the Blaze. Uh, the Blaze is in an awkward position. We'll try to take out his Wraith. And four hits, please. There you go. We took out the Wraith. All right. So one troop left. My Assassin's fully healed, but then again, his Blazes. It is a 1v3, so he does have a slight disadvantage, but the Blazes' damage is just insane. The Blazes' damage is too much, man. All right. So let's see if we can get a double hit here. Right here. Yep. There you Triple hit. Let's go. We actually got a triple hit. It's the Blaze. 
numb the blaze would need one hit to get to be one shot from the warrior and he just did an a uh, serious amount of damage to the to the huntress at least but if we do this and double hit the blaze we will win yes there you go we got the win right there all right pretty close match if i do say so myself but the warrior just pulled off the win right there and wow with nine wins guys nine wins come on Come on, we just need three more. We just need three more just to get the win. Or, you know, just to get the max rewards, which I haven't done in a long time. And I'm just hoping that this deck can actually take me there. And we are taking a long time to find an opponent. So, I'll be right back, guys. And there we go. We found an opponent. Let's see what deck are we going to face. Oh, okay. So, we haven't seen a Banshee Yeti combo in a long time. And it's very interesting to see the Drakeling in the deck. Now, the Blaze, the Blaze just deals so much damage. Doesn't matter in, in which deck she is in. She just deals so much damage. So, she, the Drakeling is going to do that. And the Fireball will hit a couple of troops. Nicely done. So, we, we are going to see if we can push the Assassin towards the, the Blaze. And hopefully, we can get a double hit off. We just took out his blaze, dude. Alright, so that's one less troop that we gotta worry about. And that was a very strong troop, too. Honestly, if we can take out the the, the Banshee without his troops being enchanted, we would, we're would we probably going to be in the clear. Wow, he just enchanted all both of them. Nicely done, dude. He enchanted both of them. Let's push the Assassin just to get some damage in, man. And burn. Okay, so we got the burn off and did... Pretty much 200 damage to the Drakeling, so that's pretty good. Hopefully he doesn't go crazy with the Jedi's ability, because the Jedi goes crazy with the speed buff. So, nice, nicely done. Well played, dude. He is playing, wow, well played, dude. He is playing phenomenally. He is playing phenomenally, man. I need, I need the Assassin alive here. So let's see if we can get a double hit off. Right here. Double hit, yep. Oh, the assassin is not gonna survive that. The assassin, no. If he goes after the genie, that would be an in interesting play. Um, yep, the uh, the assassin is not gonna survive that. No way you're going after the, the huntress, dude. No way, dude. That's not a good play. No way he killed off the... Wow, dude, no way he... He pulled that off, man. No way he just did that. Not to rely on the Huntress to deal everything, man. So this should be enough to kill off the genie. I mean, the Drakeling, unless he gets pushed, which the Drakeling did get pushed. Oh my gosh, that that was bad. We're just trying to get as much damage as possible, man. Hopefully... Oh my gosh. I feel like I'm playing against a hacker, but nah, not really, man. Um, let's get a double hit here, but that's it, man. That person honestly played perfectly. There was nothing I could have done. Absolutely nothing. That person just played phenomenally, dude. So, sadly, that's, that's gonna be the end of the run, but I cannot complain about 9 wins, guys. Thank you to the person recommending me this deck. It was an awesome deck. It actually got me to 9 wins. I am super stoked. And uh, if you guys use this deck, just let me know down in the comments below and see and tell me how far you get with this deck. Oh, wait! We are not done yet. I thought I had two losses. I thought I had two losses. Wait a second, what's going on? Glitch! 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 Uh. Sorry about that guys, I had to make a small edit. I had to close the game because the game for some reason got bugged and... It was still telling me that I had I had two losses, not three. And I was trying to click the battle button but it just kept kicking me out. So I don't know what happened, I don't know why that bug was there but... I mean, and there you go, now we got, we, we actually got the three losses. So, I wasn't crazy. I thought I was going crazy. But we actually got the three losses. But regardless, that was a good run, man. We got nine wins. Let's see what cards are we going to get. Hopefully some Naga Sen's Frost Fox. Hopefully. And maybe even some Paladins. Because that would be very good to buff up my um, 
my main deck. There you go. We got some Paladins in there. And can we get some Zombies? The so Zombies would be very good to level 24. Nope. But look at that. We actually can get the Sorceress to level 23. Just let me know down in the comments below if you want to see the Sorceress and Ladder matches. And um, that is going to be it for uh, challenge decks unless you guys recommend me more. I think I, I'm pretty sure I went through every single challenge decks. Just let me know if you guys want to see any more. But um, yeah, just let me know down in the comments below if you want to see any more challenge decks. And I'll certainly do it for you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, please make sure to hit the like button down below. And subscribe to the channel for more Smashing 4 videos. That was a strange bug. I, I want to talk about that strange bug. Like, I don't know what happened. I still gave me two losses, but I actually lost three. And it wasn't doing anything. Um, but yeah, that was strange. That was super strange. And I uh, had to tell you guys that I'm not gonna be able to. I'm not gonna post a video on Friday and Monday. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be doing some family stuff, so I'm not gonna be able to post a video for for the next five or six days. So I do apologize for the inconvenience. But um, yeah, guys, I do apologize for the inconvenience. I just got some family stuff going on that I gotta do. But um, yeah, guys, um, this is the deck. If you wanna use it, just let me know if if you do use it and tell me how far you get with this deck. Also, if you want to see any challenge uh, ladder decks recommendations that you want me to do, and I'll do it sometime next week. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys, and thanks again for your continued support. I will see you in the next one. Take care.